Okay, we're getting the cactus and we need to we need to be on the drawing layer. We need to go to the magic wand. We need to click in the cactus and then of course we want to add that one. So we were on new selection here. We can add to the selection by clicking this or we can press shift and you might see the little plus and I can click in there. Now we've got the cactus. I'm missing a few little tiny areas but I'm going to go with this for the sake of this recording. So we've got the cactus then we go to the painting layer when we are going to paint it. So swatches go and get a light green color. So I think that one's appropriate. Now it went into my foreground and that's where I want it so I don't have to switch it. Okay, so it's in the foreground. Go to my paint bucket which is shared with the gradient tool and then when I click we get that in there. Now you make sure you get those. Okay, to finish we'll use some custom brushes and add texture. So I'm going to deselect. I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to take a look at what was here and maybe zoom in and I can see a bit of a texture and I can see these which is going to be one. Okay, so now that I have an idea come back here. It says choose the paintbrush tool. I'll choose the paintbrush tool. Load and append brushes. That's going to be right here. It says use the assorted brushes. That's right here. Append them. Now we have a whole lot of brushes and I need to find texture four. And the number is the size of the brush. So it might be this one. That's texture two. Texture one. So there's texture four. And you can see the size is 28. So that's the one that we want. All right, step nine. Adjust our size to 40. Okay, we've got 40. Oh, I lost my place here. 40 in the swatches. Select a darker green. Okay, so we'll use a darker green. There's a darker green. It put it in the foreground, which is where I want it, so I don't have to switch it. And then if I click in here, I start to make this texture. Now I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller. And then I'm not going to spend a whole time doing this. But So let's move on to the next brush, but that's how you do it. Okay, and then... Uh, Select. I wasn't even selected. Oh my gosh, I just made a mistake. <laughs> I'm on the painting layer. I should be on the. No, I should be on the drawing layer. Yeah, no. Okay, never mind. All right, next brush. Add some spines. Okay, what's getting me is that it's set to deselect. If I would have had this selected when I was doing this brush, I wouldn't have had to worry about going outside the lines. Uh, I didn't, but that probably would have been smarter. Okay, now some spines in the foreground. We're going to make this the default colors. We are going to go find the Starburst Small Brush. Starburst Small spiny shaped. Now one thing I'm going to show on here just because if you have a ton of brushes and you can't find it sometimes it's easier to go to text and run through this way and there it is starburst small so I'm going to click it and then I will come back to the thumbnails, but I have it there, you can see. Okay, and I'm at size 50, and then just, uh, and then we'll come over here, and there they are. We can add a few to ours, and uh, it also mentions that 
you might want to change the opacity when you put a few in some darker and a little lighter okay so let's move on now we'll paint the clouds using the airbrush tool okay select a small soft edge brush so we're in a brush there's a small soft edge opacity 60 okay so just so you know you can also do your numbers by clicking holding and going left and right here the flow to 50 percent so that's what i'm going to do because it's faster now sometimes you might type it in but you know there we go all right and we also want the airbrush and there is the airbrush okay click the brush icon in the options panel to open the brush panel Okay, this is the brush panel icon. It opens this panel. Click on the word shape dynamics. Okay, and it, and it has to go blue. It can't just be a check there. Okay, and then up here, shape dynamics. Click on the word shape dynamics and set the control to fade. Okay, done. All right, so we'll just close out of that. Close it. Okay. Now, in the swatches panel, click a gray swatch. All right, we'll go over and get a gray swatch. It has gone in the foreground, so we do not need to switch it and paint a portion of the clouds. So, I'm going to get smaller here paint a little bit of the cloud. I'm going to pause this for a second. Okay, so now it says, next you'll sample a color from the border of the image to add as a color from the cloud. So if you have the brush and you press the Alt key, you can see it turns to an eyedropper. So it's just saying, come and, and get a color out of the background, one of these colors. So we'll get this color. And you can see that that green blue showed up there. And uh, now just continue painting in there. Next page. Before you select another color, you'll save the green color in the swatches. The green must now, well, you know what? It's in the foreground. Okay, you know what? We have this green color in the foreground. And you know what? These instructions are not accurate. If we come over to the swatches panel and we click to create new swatch, and if I click, I can see that this is the right color. And I'm going to put green and say OK. And there it is. It's added to the swatches panel. Okay, finish painting the clouds using either sampled colors or colors from the panel. So I'll put some green in here. I'll press the Alt key and go and get some of this gray because I don't have any gray here. And then I'll go and get some purple. Put some purple in there. Okay, you can take the time to, to do more. And then as a final touch, you'll use the smudge colors to smudge the colors in the clouds. So, so the smudge tool is over here. And so we change there, and I don't know, we might want to just zoom in so you can see what's happening. And so I'm on this color. It's going to smudge it into the green. Now I've released. I'm on the green. I'm going to smudge it. So just sort of click and hold and smudge it around. When you start over here and you keep going, sooner or later it it ends with the in, it ends the intensity of the color. Okay. So we've smudged around, and it used a default of 50, but you can play with that to see what you're going to get. Now the sun. Okay. The 
sun the sun use the zoom tool drag over the sun okay zoom sun select the ellipse marquee tool and enter a two in the feather box so come over here come over here put a two in there enter and the two is just going to uh, blur the edge of the selection. So we want to drag from the center point. So if we drag from the center point, it does that. But as soon as we press the Alt key, it's going to do like a radial out from that center point. Now I don't have a perfect circle because I don't have my shift key and I don't know that matters, but here we go. I'm going to put that as my selection. Okay, then we're going to go to the gradient tool. Under the gradient tool. And then we are going to click here and select the orange, yellow, orange. So if you hover over them, you'll get the title orange, yellow, orange. And select the the type is going to be radial. Okay, no, it's not here. So we'll say okay. Up here is radial. That's linear. That's radial. Set the opacity to 50 or 60. And then click and drag from the center outward. And I'm just going to do that. And that's what I got. Now I can undo and try some different ones. This does not look as strong as I would like it, but this is what I'm getting. Again. It's a little stronger, so where you start and end makes a difference. Anyway, I'm going to go with that for the sake of this video. Okay, and then deselect and double click. I'm going to double click the hand tool just to come out there. Now you can use the fade option on any of the painting tools to cause the paint to fade. And we're going to use this option to create the rays around the sun. Now we're at 12 minutes. I'm going to come in here and just show you. Do you see that those rays fade out? as you go that's that's what this little paragraph is about and that will be used to create the rays around the sun okay i'm going to end this video here and we'll start with the next one